Well, hey everybody, today is March the 15th. It's Friday, the year is 2024. The weather has turned off pretty today after we had straight line winds at about four o'clock yesterday evening and the tornado sirens went off and I was really glad to hear that I could literally hear them going off in 360 degrees around me. The siren is going off. Definitely some high wind coming. But I believe. <laughs> we'll see. I still believe it's going to go around us. You can hear that one going off. All the way around us, they're all going off pretty good bit. Now that's some heavy rain back there. Not where I can see with all these buildings in my way, but yeah, that's some heavy rain. Look at that. Heavy, heavy rain. It ain't got here yet, but I'm gonna get out of the rain and because <laughs> that's all of that right there is coming this way. Yeah, the wind's picking up. So that meant a lot to know that they've got them fixed and that it was time really good to get people to go ahead and take cover. The emergency management system for the uh, telephones went off. Area, take shelter now. Please tune in to local radio, television, or a weather alert radio for more information. Tornado warning. There is a tornado warning for your area. Take shelter now. Please tune in to local radio, television, or a weather alert radio for more information. Tornado warning. There is a tornado warning for your area. Take shelter now. Please tune in to local radio, television, or a weather alert radio for more information. Tornado warning. There is a tornado warning for your area. Take shelter now. Please tune in to local radio television or a weather alert radio for more information. Tornado warning. End of messages. Wow, the wind is blowing. <laughs> but I believe that's the, ba the baddest of it is already past us. Let's look out the door, see what we see. Yeah, that's pretty heavy rain there. Pretty heavy wind. Yep, yeah, and now I'll show you some footage of what it looked like before the storm. We got a powerful storm back in that direction over there, and it shows a line of thunder storms coming. See that top of that hill way over there, there's the, one of the tallest hills in Ozark, Missouri right there. Yeah, if you were there, you, you could probably see a lot of things coming. But right now we're waiting on it and it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna move out of the way. But. Yeah. 
I believe it's going to go around us, but we'll see. I see a, a frontal line developing right there, making the cold and the hot go together. Yeah, it's getting darker. See the line above it? You can look at it. You can see it. Separation. And right behind there, it looks like we got a little bit of a dark cloud doing something. I don't think it's... I don't think it's nothing. But it looks rough. We got people that's prepared for hell on these cars here, but I'm not too, too worried about it. Most of the time it's always pea-sized hell around here. I've never seen it any bigger than that, no. but it could be. Anything's possible. But I believe, from what I can tell, it's all going around us. It's wanting to, from the radar, it's not even wanting to cross the 65. It's staying on the west side of 65. And the, the way the clouds are, it kind of shows that. All right. During the storm and after the storm. Now, I did not <laughs> and could not, when the full thir fury of that wind was blowing, I couldn't even get <laughs> anywhere safe that would be out of the way to keep this camera uh, dry. So I didn't get the full force of any of it. Give you an idea how bad it is. Look at the cars that's on the road. Look down that way. Definitely some straight line winds. Yeah, we've got some straight line winds came through. Just trying to see what's out there. Everything looks good so far. Even it slowed down since. Yeah, it's blowing from a different direction now. It was coming straight out of the south, and now you can see it's coming out of the west. So it's going around us. Yeah. It probably the temperature dropped like maybe 15 degrees cooler. All right, I think that was the biggest part of it right there. I kind of wish I did, but I didn't. But what you'll see in the video is uh, what it looks like after, and you'll see a link here. Yeah, that was some pretty powerful wind. Uh, the internet for me and all of the people that are on that uh, farmer's road, it went out. And it, uh, when I left to come here and go swimming, it was not back on yet. So I've been waiting. So a person that had a cell phone called and said it could be as late as one o'clock tonight before it comes back on. So I want to show you these beautiful trees. Look at that. They're blooming really well. What's up, buddy? What's up? You making a video? Yeah, man. Look at the trees. The ones that's budding, the white ones. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of featuring on right now. You got all these ones right here, and then you just got one over there. Yeah. 
Well, they're they're hidden. Look, that one real. That's a real tall one right oh, there. Yeah, I can see that. And now you can see back over here. There's a lot of them turning green. Yeah. It's pretty. Did you want to say something to me off camera? Oh no, I just came out here. Okay, cool. Just saw that you were filming. I'm not going to get you on camera. <laughs> I don't care if you do. I could be on. I could be well, in front of uh, millions of people. I'll tell you. This is a lifeguard. Look how tall he's getting. Uh, you, what are you? Six two now? Six? Yeah. Wow. I've been knowing you since you were that tall. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I've seen you around for, I know, quite a few years. How long have you been a lifeguard here? My one year is uh, next month. One year next month. Uh -huh. well, I've been coming. <laughs> I've been coming for nine years. But I enjoy it. And this time of year, I start slowing down because of the kids. Yeah. yeah. Once school's out, I'm done. And it's just... Y'all have so many summer programs. You gonna go into hibernation? No, I ride the bike. <laughs> I go into doing uh, building up to 112 mile rides, and uh, yeah, it takes uh, pretty much all summer to get to September before I can actually do 112s back to back. Do two, maybe two in a row. Take a few days off and hit it again. But no, I'm training for like triathlons when I get. 70. I want to be world champion <laughs> at 70, 75 years old. I think you can do it. I'm 62 now. Yeah, you got it. My swim is, is probably my best event. I save the knees. I don't run except maybe two, three times a year just to test them. Just to see if I can get up to, you know, eight mile, eight mile uh, average for an hour, you know, for a mile. Yeah. Eight minute. Mine's a... Uh... Six, six eighteen. My best is barely eight. I've seen it, but I have to go so hard. I, that's why I rest these knees. Yeah. I give them a whole year rest. <laughs> See you, buddy. Later, man. I notice uh, the, the the guys that he's hanging around with. Hey, some of them are football players. I'm telling you, they're all. Every one of them is over six foot tall. And the tallest was one guy, I think his name was Brandon. He told me he was six foot seven. And he, he, you, he's, when they're all standing together, you can tell he overtowers them all. And he's young, he's still growing. If he's six, seven now, and he's just 16, 17 years old, he could it very easily be. 6'10", 6'11", by the time he finished growing. All right, I did catch that dynamite blast, and did, I, I have to double check to see if, uh, if what video I put it in. I heard the sirens going off, so I wanted to catch it. At least I did catch it. Ain't that something? Look at the smoke. That was a pretty big one. Pretty big explosion. The wind is actually blowing the sound away from me, and we still were able to hear it. How about that? Well, that's all I got to say. I ain't got much else to talk about except uh, I need my internet on so I can process these videos. I got several of them in the can and, and now this one talking about the storm. And yeah, I want to send uh, high praises out to the people that worked on the uh, sirens this, this past uh, six, seven months. I know it was a trying thing to get all the parts and everything. But hey, yesterday was a good test. That's so funny, we had a month, uh, we had a statewide test the week before we had a city test. The month went off on a, a 11 o'clock at, at, uh, on a Tuesday, I think it was. And then last week, the uh, Wednesday, 
No, it was this week. I think it was this week, Wednesday. Yeah, today's Friday. The, the local test went off, and it, it I could tell it was working really good. And then we get the straight line winds, and it really went off good with the way the wind was blowing towards us, coming out of the south and the southwest. I could hear all of them in a 360-degree circle. So I know that that's one of the... Actually, that's the best I've ever heard them. So that could help save lives in the future. Thank you all for pull, pulling all that together. Uh, Lynn Morris, you in the county and then the, the people in the city that was heading that thing up. Appreciate it. Thank you. The National Weather Service has confirmed an EF0 tornado hit Christian County yesterday northeast of Ozark. In a preliminary report just released, the Weather Service says the twister brought winds as strong as 80 miles an hour and traveled a mile on the ground for one minute. But that's all the time it needed to uproot trees and damage a building in its path. But a lot of last night's damage wasn't from a tornado. Straight line winds instead, Nicolette. Yeah, Steve, you can see some of the damage behind me left behind from those severe storms that passed through Ozark, blowing out some of the windows at this auto zone. Now, while there was a confirmed tornado in one part of Christian County, this appears to be more straight line wind damage in this area. And I'm going to tell you why. First, it's only a couple of the windows that are blown out. I'm not seeing any other debris scattered about and the trees and the shrubs nearby look pretty unaffected by that wind coming in. Straight line wind gusts can still be life threatening. Everyone should take severe thunderstorm warnings just as seriously as a tornado warning. Anytime the National Weather Service issues a severe thunderstorm warning, we are anticipating uh, life threatening straight line winds. It's the best thing to do is, is go indoors as if it is a tornado. Stay away from windows, go to, to the central part of your house, let the storm go through, then go outside and figure out what kind of damage occurred.